You know, I'm, a, I'm opposed to capital punishment. And it's not because I don't think that there are crimes worthy of death. In fact, I know perfectly well that are crimes, there are crimes so egregious that the people who commit them beg for death. That's not an uncommon outcome at sentencing trials for people like the serial sexual slayers of children who've descended far enough down into hell so that death would be a relief. And so, and I think you have to be a fool if you think that people, that there are not some crimes that are so brutal that virtually no punishment would be too severe. <laughs> You just don't know anything about those crimes, if that's what you think. But I don't think it's a good idea to give the state that power. Because as untrustworthy as the criminal might be, allowing the state to make decisions about who should live and who should die, you don't know what kind of monster you're likely to conjure up doing that. So. I don't know how many of you know this, and you can go look it up for yourself, but before the Nazis started their extermination program, before they started the Holocaust, they started it with a public health campaign.